वेलकम टू शांति पीस फॉर मैथमेटिक्स हियर इन दिस वीडियो विल डिस्कस सक्सेसिव डिफ्रेंशिएशन ऑफ द फंक्शन वाई इज इक्वल टू ई पावर ए एक्स इन टू साइन बी एक्स प्लस सी वेर ए बी एंड सी आर एनी रियल नंबर and by observation one can say that the nth derivative of this function which is a product of exponential function and the trigonometric function is this r power n e power ax sin bx plus c plus n phi where this r and phi are defined like this that is a is equal to r cos phi and b is equal to r sin phi which also can be written as r is equal to under root of a square plus b square and phi is a tan inverse of b by x b by a and if you substitute this value of r and phi into this then the expression also can be written in this form so here we have, our objective is to prove this one this statement as this statement is true for any general number n we'll use the principle of mathematical induction to prove this so let us recall what is pmi a pn is a statement which we want to prove that for any natural number then you have to follow this three steps the first step in that you have to prove the result is from n equal to 1 in the second step you have to assume the result is true for n equal to k and in the third step you have to prove for the result is for n equal to k plus 1 and if you follow this three steps then we can say that and if it is satisfied then we can say that a pn is a true for any natural number n now let us try to find out on so we shall discuss the proof for the theorem which we have stated using pmi so we shall prove the theorem using pmi here let us consider the statement pn as yn is equal to r power n e power ax in bracket sin bx plus c plus n phi where r is equal to square root of a square plus b square and phi is equal to tan inverse of phi by d by y d by a if y is equal to e power ax into sin bx plus c so the first task a first step is to prove the result is true for n equal to 1 here what is given is y equal to e power ax sin bx plus c is there so taking the derivative with respect to x both side we get y1 so the derivative of this product of two functions for that we need to apply the product rule so as you know that the y equal to u into v is a product of two functions are there and the dy by dx that is the derivative of this function y is u as it, as it is derivative of v plus v as it is derivative of u is there so as per this this is my function u and this one is v if i apply that one u as it is so e power ax as it is a derivative of sin we know it is a cos dx plus c and the derivative of dx plus c using the chain rule it will be b plus sin ax plus b as it is that is a function v then the derivative of u so the derivative of e power ax is e power ax and the derivative of ax is a using chain 
and you just observe that this e power a x is common out from this two. Inside bracket we left with a sin b x plus c plus b cos b x plus c. Now what is the value of a and b which we have taken? That is the r cos phi. sin bx plus c plus r sin phi cos bx plus c. Now in this you can just observe that r is common out, e power ax is already there and the left quantity is what you have, it is the formula for sin alpha plus beta. So what is sin alpha plus beta as per this it is sin alpha cos beta plus cos alpha sin beta. So if you compare with that this is your alpha and this will be your beta. Here is also you will have alpha here this is your beta here. So this will gives you a sin bx plus c plus phi. So therefore we can say that the result is true for n equal to 1, therefore the statement P1 is true. Now we have to assume the result is true Pk is true for all k less than n and k is belongs to n. That means yk is e power ax into r power k sin bx plus c plus n into phi where a is equal to r cos phi and b equal to r sin phi. Now since we have to prove the result is true for k plus 1, we have to differentiate this with respect to x both sides because this is a kth derivative and I need k plus 1th derivative. So taking derivative with respect to x both sides we obtain the y k plus 1 the derivative this r power k is independent of x so I can take outside derivative and then again I am using the rule of product rule for the derivative that is this is my u function and this will be my v function so first u as it is the derivative of sin we know it is a cos bx plus c plus n phi and the derivative of bx plus c plus n phi, phi is independent of x, c is also a constant number so the derivative of bx plus c plus n phi is equal. plus sin bx plus c plus n phi as it is, a derivative of e power ax is e power ax and the derivative of a x is a. So we will have this and you can just observe that e power a x is common out from these two terms and the remaining quantity we can write down as y k plus 1 equal to r power k e power a x is common out inside bracket left with you can just see that a sin b x plus c plus n phi plus b cos bx plus c plus k phi it is actually k here in the previously also I made a mistake this is k here is also k and here also you have k here because it is yk 
so this is the things you have and now you substitute put a equal to r cos phi and b equal to r sin phi therefore we have yk plus 1 equal to r power k e power kx r cos phi sin dx plus c plus k phi plus r sin phi cos dx plus c plus k phi and just observe that this r is common out so that combined with r power k will become r k plus 1 e power a x as it is and as we have seen that this is my this alpha is my alpha and this is my beta so it is cos alpha sin beta and this is if I can say alpha and this is beta then it is sin alpha cos beta so it is again a formula for sin alpha plus beta so that will give me sin alpha is phi so phi plus dx plus c plus k phi and if you combine this one this will you can write down r k plus 1 e power k x sin b x plus c plus k plus 1 phi and hence we can say that the result is true for the statement t k plus 1 is true and therefore by pmi the statement pn is true for all n belongs to n for all natural number we can say that if y equal to e power ax sin dx plus c then yn is equal to e power ax r power n sin dx plus c plus n phi where a is equal to r cos phi and b equal to r sin phi the next natural question one can ask what will be the nth derivative of e power ax instead of sin if i can write down cos then what should be the formula will be there so the formula is the same instead of sin you can write the cos here and that i am giving you as a homework to do it so try to complete or try to find out try to prove that if y is equal to e power ax cos bx plus c then yn is e power ax r power n cos bx plus c plus n phi where a is r cos phi and b is r sin phi thank you for listening to me that's it for this video if you like this video please press the like button if you have any comment suggestion or question please drop down in the comment box below see you next video till then bye bye sayonara